So we were talking about uh, Dooley's Junkyard Dogs, a, a song that James Brown wrote uh, about you and about the team, uh, and how he became involved with the program. So how, how did that happen? Well, James Brown, the godfather of soul, who was from uh, Augusta, Georgia, or East Augusta, uh, uh, came over and invited his money, invited him to a football game, and so I had an opportunity to meet him. And uh, then uh, there was a fellow named Happy Howard who uh, was involved in the radio, and I think still is, mm -hmm. And he had the, uh, the radio contract at Georgia at the time. And um, so he uh, wrote the lyrics to a song and arranged for James Brown and myself to meet over in Atlanta to record that song, Dooley's Junkyard Dog. Well, uh, James Brown, uh, there was no music to it except for the lyrics. So I can still see James Brown uh, looking at the lyrics and then he started moving. His legs started moving and his arms started moving. And then the, the band kind of took up with what he was doing and just uh, spontaneously the music comes out and he comes out and he starts singing it because he had the lyrics. And the more he shook, the, the more the band played. And it was a, an incredible performance of a, a true artist. I mean, it was strictly him and his rhythm that, that performed, that made the music happen. But uh, Happy Howard wrote the lyrics, and, uh, and it was quite popular. And then he came to some games, uh, and we got to know him uh, well. And he would perform in front of the students and uh, do his splits and everything. And it, uh, there was a lot of uh, spirit and, uh, and I think the students really loved him. And uh, he came to a bowl game. We went down, I think, to Tampa to a bowl game. So he came down there uh, and performed. And I got to know him, know him well. And uh, I, I really enjoyed that experience. And Dooley's Junkyard Dogs, uh, which was sort of patterned after that 75 team where the team was named the Junkyard Dogs. And, uh, and it, was, it was great experience.